Hello, hello. I'm uh, going to do a quick video. Um, first of all, I have some amazing happy mail that I really, really want to show you. Um, but second, sorry about my fingers. Second, I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that you could do if you don't have any of the old, old envelopes. I kind of made made one as a little as you do demonstration and I just thought I'd show you how I how I did it so first of all I'm going to um, just glue the flap I'm not I'm not gonna lick it because I'm not that you know I don't think it's gonna spread anything but I'm still not very not 100% and I don't want to be um, putting my germs on an envelope so uh, what did I use yeah then I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm just going to kind of open it, but I'm trying to do a, a, a bit of a rough job on it. I don't want it perfect, so I'm going to try and cut in in a couple of places. Obviously, if you have a proper letter opener, that would be awesome. So I'm just going to kind of open these little bits up. And what I'm also going to do is give it... A little wrinkle. Okay. Now, ink. Obviously, I'm using um, vintage photo, but I'm pretty sure you could use any, and you could definitely use any colour envelope you like because I've got craft coloured ones, blue ones, um, kind of a cream or an off white. So I'm using a cream one, and I'm being. You know quite rough I'm not I don't want this to look like of like it's a new envelope so I'm not gonna be but what I will do actually is just put a little bit especially up here where the stamp is gonna go okay so you can already see that's kind of looking like an older envelope and I'm just gonna Rip in here and there, hold that down. A bit more ink. Just kind of rough it up so it looks like it's been round for a few years. <laughs> okay, so all I did literally is, um, you know, stamps that have been um, torn off envelopes, ready to, um, ready to soak by stamp collectors they, they are relatively easy to pick up and you know if, if we all get post at some point so you know keep the stamps tear them off and um, these are all pretty similar similar samey samey that's quite a good one that might be a bit better actually i'm just pulling out city that is that puppet? Not sure. Sweep and Sue, weren't they? Oh, this is another great thing. Postcards. Somebody actually asked me about postcards. Um, so that's a great idea. Using a postcard, that's quite a nice one, but that's a maybe a bit big. I think I think I'm gonna go for these. So all I'm gonna do is tear there, and I'm gonna Give this a couple of little, give that a bit of a squidge, just so it kind of, I mean it's not going to be a perfect colour match, but for this, for this kind of purpose, it's perfect. We don't want it, I'm going to actually glue that little piece down. We don't want perfection. So I'm just going to take my ink, go around that a little bit. And now I'm not going to decorate this whole envelope because the process is exactly the same as I did yesterday. But all you now need to do is kind of decorate your envelope as though you were, it was an old one. So that will that will probably go there quite nicely. And of course, if you don't have if you don't have stamps at all, 
then you could make some like I did with the Mrs. Cog first aid covers. That would be that would be cool too. But there you go. Um, it's very difficult to stop, isn't it? Once you stop, I'm going to stop there though. Um, but like I said, that's one that I I kind of did. This one looks like it's got the potential to actually look even better than this one. But you don't actually need old envelopes. Just make one look old. Okay, now happy mail. Now I have a massive apology to make um, to the lovely Debbie. Um, um, Debbie, sent, Debbie sent me this amazing card and she sent me some gorgeous, gorgeous eyelash trim and I put it on the top shelf or I put it on a shelf. I put it somewhere because the cat kind of liked it and do you think I could find it? But there was some really, really beautiful eyelash trim. So Debbie, thank you so, so much. And I do apologise that I can't find it for this video, but it was... I kind of had to do it because it's been a while. Now, Debbie has made me, oh, that's kind of given it away a little bit. Debbie's made me some paper um, and it is, it's just amazing. It really is, I love it. And she sent me these little foxes so I can um, make some of my own. But can you see, I think this was, Oh, what did she say? I'm not sure if it was, hang on, just let me check. Uh, was it? Yeah, avocado. For a minute there, I thought it might have been the, the wine. Somebody's done some wine dyed paper. But look at the little foxes. I just thought this was absolutely stunning. And those people that know me know that if there's one thing I don't like, and that's dyeing paper. <laughs> so this is fantastic because I have this beautiful paper already dyed for me. And, you know, there's a ton of it. There is a ton of it. And I'm really, really sorry I can't find that eyelash trim. Um, but thank you. It will certainly get used, especially this paper, but it will be in a journal for me. Maybe I might add a page for a, for a friend's journal or something. But at the moment, it's all mine. And... Okay, the second lovely, lovely happy mail I got from Jan. Um, thank you, Jan. Um, and very funny. <laughs> you know what you've put in there, don't you? This is um, a really lovely vintage kind of linen, which will not be used for the purpose Jan has recommended because it's just too pretty. I think that might go upstairs on my dressing table. Um, I have had a look at this because, well, I couldn't wait really. So I, I apologise, I have looked at some of this. Look at these beautiful little doilies. So cute. They would look awesome with um, a button in the middle or a, a little gem or something but there's loads of things that I can do with that so thank you um, I actually have not opened this yet but I will do um, I haven't opened this yet either I'm really trying not to scream because the cat is is um, not being very nice to me at the minute I'm sorry if you can hear her um, so what have we got? They're obviously stamps. They look oh, oh they may even be handmade. Jan, did you make these? Oh wow. The edging on this is brilliant. These are these are fabulous. Can you see the edges on those? Oh, I love them. Oh, we would. We should have had a conversation. Are these stickers? We'll have to have a conversation about these, Jan. Love them. Thank you, thank you. Um, I haven't taken this apart. It's folded so nicely, but look at that fabric and this one. Gorgeous, and this one. I do love them. How pretty do they look together, Jan? Thank you so much. I'm not sure if this has been, it looks like it's actually the pattern on the fabric, but it looks like tea stain fabric. It's amazing. Sorry, my camera. Oh, shh. <laughs> love it. Love it. Um, I did open this, but I don't remember what's in here. Oh, these are Jan's um, little clusters. I looked in the envelope, but I didn't take any of them out. How gorgeous are they? Just 
my little tea card there. Jam, these are just stunning. They really are beautiful. Look at that one. That's a perfect pocket, isn't it? I love them. I love them. Very, very lovely. So, now I think this is... Oh, my days. Look at these. I'm not going to get them all. Yeah, I am. I'm going to get them all out. I can put them back. Look at that. There's bees and keys and little enamel pieces. I love these little bikes. Look at those. Oh, Jan, thank you so much. Oh, and check out the spoon. Oh, um, I have it, mine doesn't have wings, but I have um, a tattoo very similar to this on my back. So that's I'm going to put that one separately, so I don't lose track of that one because that's going to be a, that's going to go on my journal. I love them, love them. Um, I'm just going to slide those off here, and then there is this beautiful lace. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. If I'm even in, look at that. And it's been just, I love it, I love it. And then I did have a little sneak peek in here. Some gorgeous, gorgeous book pages. I've not seen this version of the um, Edith Holden, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this and you've still got room to use it and then right here look at that this is from if I remember rightly because I think I have owned this book um yeah it this comes from the the book about Edith Holden uh, I can't recall what it's called but it's a book about her and her life and illustrations that she's made. It's gorgeous. There she is. Well, honestly, Jan and Debbie, thank you so much. I feel truly spoiled and I just love it all. Love it all. I can't wait to use my Fox paper and all of these beautiful pieces and and when people make me things like this um i actually use them in my own my own stuff so these will all go into my journals and and art journals and things like that so thank you they will all be used um right i think that's it um i really did want to get on and do another video today but i'm not sure that i'm going to make another one <laughs> um i think i need to go and sit down now uh, but thank you so much again for watching and thank you for all the beautiful things you've sent me and I hope you find the envelope thing a little bit useful. I will see you again soon. Bye.